<laughs> an ideal cure it, it, and is possible <laughs> is you find someone with HIV. Mm -hmm. you, you go to a clinic and mm -hmm. you say and you do a test mm -hmm. and you say, "Oh, I'm sorry, you have HIV," mm -hmm. but don't worry, I will give you one shot in the arm, mm -hmm. and you're done for life. Hello, besties. Welcome back to another amazing episode of the HIV Cure series. How are you finding the series so far? Are you learning? And I know you people have been fighting me. Why are you talking about HIV Cure in babies? Where is the HIV Cure in adults? So today I am bringing you a scientist working also in the HIV Cure for adults. His name is Stephen Dix. He is also one of the doctors that uh, handled the first person to be cured of HIV, the Berlin patient, also known as Timothy Ray Brown. And he was not part of the cure team that cured him, but he was the doctor that he kept seeing after he was cured of HIV. And we all know that he was a landmark patient in terms of showing us the hope that in this lifetime we are going to find a HIV cure so may he continue resting well but today we are going to learn about the HIV cure in adults what is being used what are the strategies that are currently being explored is there hope and besides that Stephen is going to tell us in an ideal world how does he envision a HIV cure would look like. And I would want to hear from you in an ideal world, what do you think a HIV cure would look like? Uh, my name is Stephen Deeks. I'm a um, professor of medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. And mm -hmm. we have a very large HIV cure program. Mm -hmm. um, we do uh, observational studies yeah. and uh, clinical trials. So there are two approaches. Mm -hmm. um, you can either reduce the reservoir, mm -hmm. make it smaller, or okay. control it. Okay. Right. So reduction. Mm. Reduction has proven to be very difficult. Okay. Making the reservoir, the amount of HIV in the body smaller. Um, to be honest, um, the best, the, the most interesting way about go going about doing that, mm -hmm. um, well, first of all, you can start therapy early. Okay. That does it. Mm. Um, like soon after becoming infected, that typically will make it smaller. Mm -hmm. But therapeutically, um, there was a study actually presented here mm -hmm. at the conference, okay. uh, Croy, um, that showed that you can take an antibody mm -hmm. um, that uh, um, and administer it at the time you stop drugs. Okay. And it reduces the reservoir size. Okay. We're not really sure about the mechanism, but it seemed to work. Okay. And then there's a second study here mm -hmm. um, in which they use something called a CD3 engager, a T cell engager. It's, a, it's, a, it's something that binds to the virus on one side and T cells on the other side, mm -hmm. and it causes the cells to die. Okay. And it looked like it worked. Mm -hmm. So we're making progress on reducing the reservoir. Okay. So we know already that about a hundred, one in a hundred men, mm -hmm. but maybe one in, much more women, mm -hmm. um, when they become infected with HIV, they control the virus. Yes, the virus is undetectable mm. for decades, mm -hmm. um, and we we know why. Right? There's a good T cell response. Yeah. So we're we're trying to do that in everybody, mm -hmm. and um, turns out, looks like, and now there's been five studies okay. that have shown this, that if you give HIV neutralizing antibodies, mm -hmm. broadly neutralizing antibodies, mm -hmm. BNABs, at the right time, um, and it really depends on the timing, mm -hmm. you can get about half of people okay who can control the virus at low levels. It's not a cure, mm -hmm. but it's definitely progress. It's a medicine mm -hmm. that um, binds to the HIV mm -hmm. on one side, yeah. and on the other side, it binds to the cells in your body that okay. kill the HIV. Uh -huh. So it brings the, the killer cells, mm -hmm. the CD8 cells, yeah. the CD4 cells, mm -hmm. it brings those cells mm -hmm 
right up against the HIV. Okay. So, okay. so yeah. VNAVs are mm -hmm. broadly neutralizing and antibodies. Yeah. Antibodies are things that the body makes mm -hmm. that attack all kinds of infections, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. They, they run around the body, they got this part that binds to the HIV and it just sticks on it until it dies. Yeah. That's an antibody. Okay. Now they're developing these broadly neutralizing antibodies. You know, like in a person with HIV, there's like billions of different viruses. Yeah. And, you know, in a continent like Africa, right, there's just trillions and trillions of viruses. Yeah. So these antibodies work against all the viruses, or many of them. Well, I think, um, I think right now that there's two leading cure strategies. Mm -hmm. One is using BNABs, mm -hmm. immunotherapy, yeah. to control the virus. Mm -hmm. um, and I think BNABs by themselves are not going to work. Mm -hmm. We have to combine them with something else. Yes. And that's what we're working on, okay. combination therapy, maybe a vaccine. The second big area of, of, of interest to me in particular mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. gene therapy. Yeah. And that's a whole, that's, that hasn't worked yet in people, but that's coming. Yes. That's the next big thing. An ideal cure, <laughs> and it's possible, is you find someone with HIV, mm -hmm. you, you go to a clinic and mm -hmm. you say, and you do a test, mm -hmm. and you say, oh, I'm sorry, you have HIV, mm -hmm. but don't worry, I will give you one shot in the arm, mm -hmm. and you're done for life. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week with another amazing scientist. Bye-bye.